Uh, Jay in California. What's up, man? How hey. you doing? Uh, hey, look, I was a jock at this station in Sacramento. Uh, it was an affinity station. They actually called themselves Howard 93.7. Yeah. And uh, they flipped the format recently, obviously, due to Howard going to satellite or whatever, to this Jack FM crap. And uh, the the competitor, uh, the reason I'm calling is the competitor is the intercom station, 98 Rock. And they've got this hack morning show, Rob, Barney, and Dawn. And you can't uh, tune in. Uh, hold on, dude. What's the name of it again? Rob Arnie and Don. actually Jimmy, I, I interviewed you when you came into Sacramento last. Uh, I was the guy that interviewed you at that radio station. Another, I don't or not. another show that's not going to understand that they never make it because they have that stupid hole. The uh, hole. Wait, dude, which exactly. guy were you that interviewed me? Were you the guy that played clown music? No, hell no, 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 no. Okay. I came in. You came in late. It was right before your show on a Friday night, and I interviewed you. It was about five thirty, right in the middle of the five o'clock hour. I was filling in for the afternoon drive guy, and we had a really good interview. I thought. But oh, um, are you a black guy? No, uh, I, I'm half Jeez, black. You're I'm hitting like, a, a, no, I'm just remembering different, different, like, that's a tough one to remember. The, the, one, the one guy really... Oh, uh, look at the pictures of Rob, Arnie, and Dawn. Oh, yeah. right. uh, Rob, I guess, is the uh, oh, the Republican in the bunch. Oh, my Arnie's God. the party animal. Arnie is that party... And I'm Dawn's Arnie. there to keep it all together. And Dawn is there to fuck it all up. Do we have any audio of these guys, please? Holy crap. I see audio and video files up on the website. Please, oh God, listen live. Click here. They should be starting their show soon. Wait, uh, Sacramento, three hours behind. They'll, they'll start in like 15, 20 minutes. We got to take a listen to Rob, Arnie, and Dawn today. I want to hear the whole. They, uh, they, they actually intercom was bold enough to, to, to try syndicating them, not only from uh, Reno to Sacramento to, to, to Washington, actually moved them up to Washington. They didn't last yeah. even a book. Yeah. I mean, they, they failed miserably, and yeah. now Reno has dropped, and now they're yeah. only in Sacramento. Jesus. But yeah. they, they use your bits all the time, and it's, it's the most ridiculous show. What kind of they, bits do they do on their show that are uh, definitely ours that you can't confuse it, confuse it and say, well, maybe they got that from Jackass yeah. or this or that? What was it? Well, they, they also, they, I mean, for one, they use, uh, that, I mean, uh, that, that Rob guy is this pop, he plays the pompous, arrogant, smart guy of the group. And well, he, obviously, he's wearing a suit on the website. <laughs> That's the type of radio show I want to listen to. Yeah. Suits scare the, the suit. shit out of me. I certainly don't want to... Uh, uh, one of my morning guys wearing a suit. But I'll bet Arnie suit. jumps in and just just causes heck. You, you know, Arnie, Arnie gotta gotta jump in, and if if he can even show up on time, you know, because he's probably been out all oh, night partying. I was party last night yeah. watching oh. the big game. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you also is the sports guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the well, Super Bowl <laughs> party. Oh, I'm hungover. Oh, you boys and your sports. Uh, uh, uh. And then, Arnie, have you set up your uh, 401k? What's that? A new type of beer? <laughs> oh, oh, guys, guys, you're funny duddies. Well, you know what's funny is that, is that you have to being here in Sacramento. You have to hear the Sacramento callers, and they all pick up on this. You, you, you obviously have a picture there in front of you. You see how Dawn looks. It's obvious. She's not looking like a woman at all. She's it looks like a like a, a Jewish man with long hair. She's, She's ugly. Awful. <laughs> awful. The show is awful. I, I don't even have to listen to this. We yeah. watch if it. You, if they yeah. thought it was a good idea to have a uh, good idea to have a guy in a suit, a guy yeah. in sportswear, and and Dawn looking all safe and like a like. Uh, like a like a suit, yeah. Uh, oh man! Yeah, look at this. Look at Dawn. Yeah. And they run the. And you know, it's funny. I used to work for Intercom, and they run the hallways. Yeah, she has that like mom bunt. Yeah, the Ridiculous. mom bunt. Arnie has to do all the bar gigs, and he's all tired the next day. Yeah. And Rob's all pissed off. Yeah, Rob's getting slacks endorsements. He's awful. <laughs> Ugh. He thinks he's he thinks he's Eminem, which is kind of funny. He dresses like Eminem, you know. He thinks he walks around with that with that with that like the white boy gangster attitude. Ew, it's, 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 does he? Yeah, yeah. I swear to God. Is that a Longhorn shirt on? Because he's, he's got the naive redneck. Is it the Longhorns? The, yeah, I swear to God, the Longhorn. Yeah, exactly. Texas. Yes. Yeah, and he, and he wears the m big medallions when he goes out on location. It's it's awful. Oh, what an man. ass! All right, make sure it's we can take radio, a listen man. to Rob or Orney, uh, <laughs> Rob Arnie and radio. Dawn. Uh, what's your name again, man? Uh, Jay. Yeah, my name, my name is Capone on the radio in Sacramento. Yeah, I got just right on. Extra radio just fucked me over big time. Uh, Intercom being the biggest company. All right, all right. Thanks, bro. Take care, buddy. All right, all right, we'll have to listen to Rob Arnie and Dawn in a little while. Cowhead. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? This is this is Fatty with the Cowhead Show, man. I can put you on hold for him real quick if you like. All right. Are you? What are you guys doing? You're doing the mousetrap bit. Yeah, we're doing the mousetrap bit, but, uh, but dude, I'm not. I don't even want to hear that you, you you guys are gonna say you got it from Jackass. Cowhead listens to the show. He knows the show. Uh, hang on and we second. just did this uh, like a week ago. <laughs> he's, he's, he's hang, like, on. hang on, hang on. Let me throw him on with you real quick. Right. Hang on, dude. We're, uh, getting a bunch of 
Cowhead, I don't even want to hear that you got it from Jackass. You know we did the bit two weeks ago on our show. There's video on our website. Why, what are you doing? It's the exact same bit. Why do you got to be the irate Opie all the time on anger management? Let me explain. All right, explain. Guy. I'm just a little heated right now because we like you, Cowhead. We sent the pest on a diplomatic mission. Yeah, so. by the way, if anyone was mean to you, we told them to be very nice and diplomatic. We want to get to the bottom of this. No. And that, and I said, listen, I'm going to call Opie and Anthony's show because out of respect, I, you know, I'm a big fan of the show and I listen uh, whenever I can. And I'm, unfortunately, I've had to listen to replays for the last couple of days or so. And the only thing that I heard related to mouse traps, and I could be wrong, was that you some, snapped some guy's nuts or something on a mouse. Oh, no, we, t we took it to the next level. We, obviously, but I mean, n nothing, I don't even think similar to what we did here. We, oh my we, cowhead. Wait a minute. We had we had <laughs> we had Stalker Patty. <laughs> we'll explain exactly what we did. Okay, go ahead. This we, is the Open Anthony show on XM Radio. Uh, I happen hi. to be a big fan of these guys and uh this is this is now did a listener just call you up and and, and, and get heat started or what? Well yeah, we, you know, we, we got our pests. Right. Yeah. We had Stalker Patty. Yes. Uh, on on the floor, completely naked. She was getting thrown out of her apartment, so our listeners came up with uh, two thousand dollars. And wow. uh, we, they, were, they were in two checks. So we had the checks on the floor um, in the middle of a bunch of set mouse traps. Okay. And she had to crawl around and naked. try to find the checks completely naked. Up. And blindfolded. No, yeah. I, 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 I tell you, I didn't know. I honestly didn't know. You know, if I'm, if I'm going to BS you, I tell you the truth, I didn't know. The only thing I heard you guys do with the mouse trap is always slam some guy's nuts with it. And I'm just being honest. Six mouse traps on the nuts, by the way. Yeah. Okay, well, the seventh one fell off. It would have been a record. Yeah, How if they kept records. I tolerate that in the first place. I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good bit. That's funny. Well, don't, <laughs> don't steal our bee stinks in the ball bag bit. I'm not. I don't even know where to get bees or wasps. And right see, I kept it clean for regular radio. You see how yeah. smart I am? That's right. Because now all your listeners are like, bee stinks in the ball bag. I got to get XM satellite radio. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Robert Kelly's going to be on this weekend because he's in town. Are you guys cool with that? Yeah, we love uh, Bob. Well, Bob's coming in at 10 o'clock today. So. <laughs> right. Well, there you go. <laughs> I, I, I got Bill Burr in April. I just want to make sure everything's okay with you guys. Do you want know. Patrice? Yeah. We'll trade you. Yeah, what? No, I, I, we're going to have a, I don't know, we will make sure we're all on the same page. I did not know about the Stalker Patty situation. Well, the video is up on our website, opianthony.com. Well, then everybody go check that out. <laughs> By the way, uh, St Stalker Patty is kind of, she, she, this is not the is first she like time. Their, is she like their medicine man kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, not the first time she's been thrown out of her house, correct? Uh, it, it's the real deal. She was started as a stalker, so and we just said, hey, why don't you hang out with us? Okay, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. She used yeah. to live in um, at the old station. She lived under the stairs with a pet uh, rabbit, stuffed that rabbit. Is not, that is no BS. Because yeah, Kelly, when, they were, this, yeah. when they were at K-Rock, I went up there, uh, at NEW, rather. I went up there, and I was there at night, and I went to get a soda, and there was a woman sleeping under the stairs. And Al Dukes is like, yeah, that's Stalker Patty. I hope you and Anthony let her live here. Yeah, and then we found some kind of, like, old couch or something, and she actually lived there for a while. And then she got her act together, but uh, she screwed up again. I think it's her junkets to Atlantic City. And she got like uh, two grand in debt with her landlord, and they were going to throw her out. So our is she a gambler? Listener, uh, oh, she likes to say she isn't, but every time you talk to her, she's like, "I take the jitney down to Atlantic City. I like playing the slut machines." <laughs> and she loses her um, rent money. Huh? How long are you guys going to take care of Stalker Patty? Oh, it's I mean, every, been every time she gets in debt. It's been years, but we get some great radio out of her. She yeah. had to reach into Ron Jeremy's pants for U two tickets and money once. <laughs> It's always her and hand going in horrible places for things she yeah. needs. And she's a 50-year-old virgin, so... Please don't say anything else, because then when I do these bits next week, I can claim it. <laughs> yeah, That's <exactly>. right. <laughs> well, all right, I, I just wanted to clear the air. You know, I'm a big uh, Opie and Anthony fan. Hey, Cowhead, you know if we didn't like you, the pests would be firing full full cannon barrage. I, trust me, I, I looked at my phone lines, and I was like, well, we're okay so far. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call and try and hook this up before, uh, before it gets out of hand. Cowhead, congrats on the gig. I, I'm, I'm happy that you landed on your feet because you really are a good guy, man. I, I thank you, and I appreciate all the support, and I'm glad that your best didn't kill us yet. And, uh, but I wanted to clear the air and let you know. Yeah, I, you know something, though? I don't know if anyone could call off Doug out Doug. <laughs> <laughs> let us worry about Doug. Yeah. <laughs> I can't handle one every once in a while. And, and to, uh, to the listeners in Tampa, if you can't afford XM Satellite Radio, support the, uh, the cowhead. I appreciate that. All right, bro. All Bye, right, sweetie. Yeah. Thanks for go. calling. I appreciate it. Most people blow us off. No, happy birthday, Jimmy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Today is actually my birthday. There you go. <laughs> it is not.
Uh, that's cool. All right. It's great, though. Do it right live, live on the show, right? Yeah. Yeah, most of these guys just hide. That takes some balls to put a satellite radio show on your yeah. regular radio show. Most guys hide, and they see the phone ringing with all their pets, and they just panic. They go, oh, yeah. what oh, are you going to do? Oh, no. Just oh, ignore it. Just ignore it, and it'll go away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, I didn't hear a hole on that show. <gasps> No, nah, no, with no. Morons. The no. whole mess. Get rid of the holes if you're doing radio out there, ladies and oh. gentlemen. We're Rob, Arnie, Arnie, and Dawn three. just minutes away from listening uh, to Rob, Arnie, and Dawn. <laughs> we are hole free. Please, someone let her chime in. Someone monitored that station. I want to go right to the show. Right I want to hear her chime in just like, I hope she doesn't disappoint and isn't really a good hole. <laughs> no, she will be. Uh, Anytime, I also, if anybody's driving around and their local show has a great hole, don't not just a woman on the show, I mean a good hole that just chimes in and should shut the fuck yeah. up, please <clears throat> call and uh, we'll throw that on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, now, hole. I don't know if we want to go there. Oh, guys. Shut up. Oh, wow. This guy from Sacramento wants in. Kent, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I cannot believe you guys nailed this show, Rob, Barney, and Don. That is exactly what it is. That horse's ass Rob <laughs> claims to broadcast every day wearing his suit. Ugh. Every day. Ugh. I'm in my suit today. He sounds like a real stick in the mud. <laughs> I'll bet that rock and roller he hangs out with, there's probably quite a lot of clashes. Arnie. I guess Arnie gets crazy and he runs around the studio with a scissor trying to cut his tie off. <laughs> <laughs> That's wacky. As Dawn tries to hold the whole thing together oh, like a mom, like a mom should. Guys. Yeah, that big dumb. Fa you know, she looks like a fat version of fucking Cameron. Uh, swing, but about a swing. <laughs> I bet you she was all cutesy yesterday. They were doing their Super Bowl talk, and she's like, "I don't even know anything about football." Yeah, they make, a, make a home run? <laughs> what? There's like three periods. What? <laughs> Arnie, you're an ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, she doesn't talk about sports, but she just sits there and does the. Oh, she does the uh, sleep uh, snoring thing. That's Remember who you're dealing with, Dawn. <laughs> She's terrible. She's the hole of all holes. And these guys She's probably terrible. these guys probably sit around their office after every show just looking at the phone, hoping New York's going to call so they can make the big time with that awful show of theirs. They're on it. They start at 5 a.m. Um, West Coast time, so they're on 8 o'clock your time. Oh, oh, fuck! Let's go! We're Damn ready it. for Rob, Artie, and Dawn! I'm going to sit down and have some laughs. Oh, here's Dawn. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. <laughs> you just mind your P's and Q's, Buster. <laughs> All right, here we go. Somebody had to deal with the racism, in fact. It would be <laughs> Doug Williams. Who won? <laughs> yeah, a Super Bowl. Right, but I think people would say that if you I combined his Love CFL it. yards and NFL yards, it would have been, would have been a lot. CFL? Yeah, really quick. Is What's this that? the CFL Hall of Fame? See, she said CFL. Yeah. What's that? Oh, it's the oh. NFL oh. Hall of Fame. It's the pro I'm only listening to the Hall of Fame. CFL is cunt fucking lead. His name is John Madden, best known for his television announcing, and he has the highest winning percentage of any NFL coach during the regular season uh, of 759. He coached the Raiders to one Super Bowl victory uh -huh. in 77. Isn't he also the one with the party bus uh -huh. <laughs> that you guys went on? Is that him? He's a friend of the show. Yeah. He is not a friend of the show. He wasn't even on the bus. I hang out on his okay. bus all the time. Um, <laughs> Michael or John Madden belongs in the Hall of Fame for a variety of things. But he's not one of the greatest coaches ever. And there's a difference there. You can be in the Hall of Fame and not be one of the greatest coaches. He had a team that should have won four or five Super Bowls. He won once in 1977. And, and the Steelers, you... We got an echo? Yeah, like... All it, those it, comments we're echoing through? No, if we say something, yeah, it'll right. echo. What? You know what that's about, Mars? Or? No, sir. Let, let's hear it some more. Oh, let's test it live on the show? All right. Nick, <laughs> butt hurt paper oh, carrier stop. holding? <laughs> yes, he's on line number one. Is he a... Oh, ma ma yeah, there, there is that flavor in his, in his right. demeanor. Just, you have to tell him to hold through one commercial break, and we will come back to the upset oh, paper carrier. Of course. After this. <laughs> oh, free the, radio, isn't it great? The upset paper carrier? Yeah. Yes. Wow. That's a great character. Ooh. Yeah, See, what was happening is uh, when I would go, hey, shut up, like... Five seconds later, you'd hear over the audio on my headphones me going, shut up. Kind of odd. 
Yeah. A little odd. Yeah. What, uh, Someone was saying we played them twice before. Really? <laughs> I, I, I don't remember them. I want to know what the upset paper carrier is, Opie. Well, we got to sit through a million commercials. I bet he's mad about something. I ah, bet he's Damn angry. dog was barking. Trying to deliver the paper. Hey, simmer down, you. Hey, paper guy. So you get brought pretty early to deliver those papers. Oh, too early. Too ah, early. The kids are all he's causing a ruckus at night. I'm angry. Burr. I'm the paper guy. I'm a paper guy. <laughs> Douchebag. Hey, let's go to Josh in Missouri. Josh is the ripoff of angry typing guy. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> I don't like to deliver the mail. What's up, Josh? What's, what's going on? Hey. Hi. Hey, I, I got a great home in Kansas City, Missouri. Can't say Kansas over that area. Yeah. We got Johnny Dare and his uh, uh, Carrie Coogan. I've, and uh, oh, she's great. I don't know Johnny Dare, but every comic who I know does a show loves him. I can't shit on him. Oh, every dude, comic no, no, that no. does I a just show likes hear him. the whole great radio, but she is a great whole. Oh, like oh, dude, she like uh, he's you know uses his real voice, not that. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Pretty good. And, oh, you wait, dude, you mean a great whole like she's actually funny? Oh no 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 no, she's like he's the bad boy and she's like the church girl. Like he'd be fine fantastic. himself, is what he's saying, Jim. He'd be fine, uh, but, but she's a like, shitty hole yeah, that's thrown yeah, into cool. the show. But she's there to keep him grounded. Keep I'm just trying grounded. not to flamethrow every single bridge because I do have to do certain road we games. We understand where you were going. I wanted to <laughs> make sure you weren't all upset. No, that, that's the one. He's great. That, that, I actually did. He rules. He's one I'm looking guy forward to this show. Life. I'm looking forward uh, when this show just completely explodes, and then our comedian uh, friends don't have to do these other shows. Yeah, I don't have to. Where all of a sudden we go, ass. hey Chicago, we got millions of you in Chicago alone. Go yeah. see Jimmy Norton. Dude, and, they're all there. and they don't have to do these crappy shows anymore. You first got it, and uh, uh, one of my trucker buddies introduced me to you guys this last, like, two or three months, and I have not turned oh, off this you yet. missed so much. You guys are great. All right, thank you, Thank sir. you, man. All right, I, man, guys, have a good one. All right, let's go to Dave in Jersey. Dave, what's up? Hey, what's up, boys? Hey. Yeah, Storm and Birdsey in Boston actually ripped off the direct audio of the Le retarded Laverne and Shirley at the Oscars. <laughs> Storm and Fucking Birdsey. Birdsey. <laughs> Another guy Birdsey. that we helped out in this business. Birdsey was supposed to be our producer yeah, before but, we got fired for the mayor's prank up yeah, there. Yeah. They, he he actually Ben's. played the actual audio? Yeah, I was visiting my ex-girlfriend in Boston wow. right before 9-11, and she He's goes, got balls. Hey, a great radio bit by Storm and Birdsey. These two girls at the Oscars named Retarda Laverne and Shirley are asking questions. I got in a fucking fight over it. I lost sex to defend you people. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. That's right. You're welcome. One right. thing they did if you were local up there in Boston is ripped apart Rocco, like, viciously, yeah, and it was hysterical. We love them for that. Yeah. Oh, are they back? Is there an echo? There's an echo. There's an echo. It's shorter. Cool. Now, no echo? Yeah, yeah, the echo's still there. Little bit. Oh, this is music they got to play with the online feed? Oh, they're still in commercials anyway. Ah. There might be a slight echo when we uh, tune back into when the we Rob yell. Arnie and Dawn show. Yeah. I'm psyched. Why is there an echo with the... I don't know. It's not as long of an echo. Is it, so it's not a, as distracting. Is it coming in through somewhere else? Like, is our audio being picked up through something and coming in? Technical jargon, Jimmy. Yeah, I, I like technical jargon. I think somehow the feed's getting confused with where it should go. Yeah. Are Dawn and them back up yet? Oh, let's listen. Rob, Barney, and Dawn. Competition begins right after the show. <laughs> now it's in one channel. What happened? One channel. That's going to drive people nuts. Ooh, that's a great idea. Fantastic. Why? Fantastic. Thank you. You can get details. That's in one channel. Put it in two channels. My God, man! So I'm talking to him yet. Named Eric has been holding on for quite a while now. He's very upset, from what I understand. Oh, but don't you feel like everybody's younger than us? Good job. Well, well, I mean, hey. my God! You look at these guys in the NFL. You look how big and gnarly they are. Find out they're 26 years old. I feel like an old man. For the last 65 oh, minutes while doing the show, I have watched Arnie do half the show while stretching out his right shoulder. He's pulling. He's trying to like pull the muscle, right? Because oh. you're tight or whatever. Oh, my forearm, from from like midway up to the forearm to midway yeah. up to the bicep. I, I, I can't straighten my no, arm out. No, it hurts so bad. Last night, for no oh, reason, no. for no reason, I got up off the sofa to go upstairs to go to bed at the witching hour of 8 p.m. <laughs> Why should and I? I don't know. I don't she know. She is cackling. <laughs> For no reason. Pain. Can't walk Ouch. on it. Arch hurts. Ankle hurts. And I said to my That's the whole job. I'm so old. Mm. I cannot last uh. as long in high heels as I used to. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. 
so you're going to be wearing flats oh, next week. Oh, my God. She could win Hole of the Year. The upset paper carrier. Hello, One of the Eric. best holes I've ever heard, by the way. Hey, how you guys doing? Good, Eric. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And then there's Rob. Yes, yes. Uh, Rob, Rob, <laughs> you know, I've never heard of anybody in my life that is so lazy that they could not get out of their chair or up off their butt mm -hmm. and go outside and pick up a paper 20 feet down their driveway. Okay. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. First of all, I want to say, um, Arnie, you yeah. guys, uh, Don, you guys are great. <laughs> now, Don, Eric, thanks for sticking up for the paper carriers who are out here working yeah. hard. Yeah, you're welcome. 365 days a year. That's right. I'll always be we here for you. We are our vehicles up. Gas prices oh. are mm -hmm. so damn high right now. Mm -hmm. And you can't, Rob, you can't even pull five bucks out of your tight pocket. And, and give it to your carrier. Yeah. Let me tell you something. If I was you, I would have refused to use service a long, long time ago. Boring. Boy, You're a paper fucking paper client. boy, asshole. No, I'm trying to hear this is riveting. Enough for their brothers and sisters out I there love this. Their asses <laughs> off to get this done. Rob, oh. you, you, Eric. you, dude. That's you Arnie suck, talking. Man. Yeah, Eric, I, I do Eric, suck. I Eric, do let, suck. Me, let me ask you a question, Eric. Uh, how long have you been a paper boy? Who cares? Uh, I've been a paper carrier for a couple years now. Very nice. Paper okay, carrier. for a couple years. <laughs> yes. Now, see, Rob did this when he was growing up. So look That's here. Wonderful. No, well, hold yeah. on. Hey, Let me tell you hey, hold on a second. Yeah. No. Radio should be free. Okay. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> this is what you get. This Rob, is what you get. Another Rob, little sample of free radio, but people. Guys, she sticks up for him. On the porch? Every time. That's okay. a good So now what, but what precludes you to doing that? Why do you just, I mean, honest to God, her. Eric. doing perfect I, I, hole lines. Oh, great. Perfect. After 365 <laughs> days a year. This is the best hole I've heard on the radio so far. You, you're okay. driving around, oh, and what you do is drop the paper listen, outside listen, your listen. driver's side door. Listen to the hole. Are, are you here where I deliver papers? No. Because I've seen my I've, I've seen my paper boy deliver papers, and and that's how they do it. Okay, they drive really close to the house and they drop them right there. Because I see my newspaper every day when I come home, it's right at the end of the driveway. There's not a whole lot of skill involved. Size. Why don't you do something about it. Call the paper. Call them. Hmm. You know, it's people like you that bitch and complain every day. What, that what's it gonna do? In. That's the problem. It's so uncomfortable. Nobody Listen. Makes the paper carrier aware of the situation. Can I ask you a question, Eric? Is it is it that Arnie should call and ask them to change their service, or is it that I'm lazy because we won't walk to the end of our driveways? Because you can't have it both ways. Which it is sounds it? Sounds like a little above because obviously you're too lazy to walk down there. What makes me think mm -hmm. that? You wouldn't be so lazy to pick up the phone. Okay. You're bouncing all over the place, which is what people do when they have a horrible oh. position. And, and now that everyone else has talked, the She's person perfect. you attack is going to talk. But, but let's just all find a way to get along and come up no. with a solution. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No way. No way. Dude, she's putting this on. I can't accept that there is this perfect a hole out there. Start in order. I'm lazy. Picture okay, perfect. Knows nothing about Everything me, knows we've goofed on about a hole. But I'm lazy. Why? Because I don't want to walk to the end of my driveway and get the paper. Now, if it was Arnie that was complaining, we would all buy that immediately because no one's a bigger slob than Arnie. Thank you. Arnie's the slob. Let's Arnie's the slob. I can be on your side. Let's take one that parties a little too much. And let's put it in other places of uh, business. I, you know. I think we should fire all I love leaders. it. I'm so because captivated. you're so lazy that you can't get up and walk to the kitchen to get the food that you ordered. You see, this is a service that continues whole. to exist in America. In. We have dumbed down what we define as service. I demand oh. the best in life. I will never apologize for That's that. Rob. I will never He's Rob. And he wears a suit. Eric he wears a suit every day. First of all, you don't have to have done something to be able to speak on it intelligently. But in this case, Arnie's right. I was a paper boy when I was all 14. And I always put the paper on you the porch her, like, because I demanded of myself. My customers so demanded of me. I and the newspaper guys. in my hometown of Pleasant in California do something demanded of me. And get along with it? should be. It has nothing to do oh. with laziness. It is a service issue. And you proved that you had He's no point when you then working went to a whole different argument. 14. Saying, well, just call us and tell us that they're not delivering the paper to your port. Why? I thought it was because we were lazy. Mm -hmm. Which is it? Is right. it that we have a right to demand that service, or is it that we're lazy, proving you don't have a position? Point two. <laughs> the issue that gas prices are up is irrelevant to me and anyone else, sir. Oh. They're up for all of us, and you don't have to work in an industry where you have to drive. You can choose to do something oh. else in America. You are not a slave. You are not in That's servitude. not us, people. Do something else. And, and 
Look here, I don't know a whole lot about writing off of stuff because I write everything off, and then people say you can't write that off. What is she laughing at a tax write off? Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. The 1040 forms. <laughs> Maybe he just didn't know that, and now he does. Yay. Ignorance, not my problem. Well, Point gosh. three. Well, God. Well, God. Is $5 reference to people this is, give me this is fake. Oh, it's got to be. Wonderful tips to A hole could not be this perfect. Well, gosh. The call of duty. Walk in the fat restaurant. It sounds like those sound clips. She'll like. sigh too. Wait on me oh. how big of a tipper I am because they treat me like gold, mm. and we tip perfect. big time when that occurs. <laughs> Maybe I'll start working over there <laughs> and serving Rob then. Point what? Four, Eric. Oh my. Proving you're the problem. Oh my. Oh my. Here was the most <laughs> outlandish statement of the in, <laughs> of the entire tirade. Oh. If I was your uh -oh. paper carrier, I'd oh. refuse service. Really, oh. you'd refuse service. Really, you know what would happen then? You'd be fired. You fired. don't own the paper. You'd be you don't get to refuse <laughs> service to me. It's that type of mentality that is the problem with America. I'm not going to give you your paper on a court. I'm going to refuse. No. no. You're going to not work then she with that kind of attitude. She's amazing. Jerk. Okay, look, at understanding God people damn. is important. And, and that was just his frustration talking. <laughs> that was his frustration. Because, you know, we get mad and we say things. No exactly way. what we talk you know, about. I was in the service industry. I waited on tables a long time. And so you should always give someone great service, even if they're a ball humbug and sound grumpy like, you know, uh, Rocky yesterday. Uh, because it's pride in yourself. I think that's maybe what? just what we need to... Well, no, 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 no. Like... Like, they think the guy was upset because he didn't like Rob's tone or something yesterday. And so he, he's upset. And so, because what you're saying is okay. I mean, because you should. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, oh, my God. Because you, I mean, you should demand excellence. And someone that provides service should want it, should want to give excellence. Because, you know, I, I remember that being up. in the service industry. I think we just maybe need to work on the tone that you, you put you it out there. Cunt. You fucking know I mean? Yeah, because I think it, like, maybe rubs If he's a real the bah humbug and he's grumpy, just say if he's Open people the wrong way. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yes, if yeah. you are a new listener, you to the show, you're oh, grumpy. I'd like to point out that mm. this is as bad as Dawn will disagree with Rob. No matter what. If she disagrees. Alright, enough of these. Oh, that oh, was Oh wow. You know, uh, to the new listeners, we gotta explain. We have an obsession with holes on morning shows. Holes. And we have like a we have a whole bank on our machines here where we have a make believe hole. And it, it sounded just like said, Oh gosh, oh my Oh my, can we just you figure out right. a way? So you've got oh. all these. You know you're right. Y yes. That's a yes. <laughs> yeah. Guys I can't take this I I gotta say you gotta stop. Oh Opie. You know what my mom used to say about that? Oh no. I hope he's all right. Now, now, hold on. Oh, come on. <laughs> of course. Uh huh. Uh huh. Boo. <laughs> Naturally. Uh, so we have a whole bunch of them because that's what we hear all the time when we listen to all the radio shows. It is the hole. The hole wait, in wait. the background. Oh, oh. Put, put part of that. Pot it back up. How did that back I'll break your fingers. Ah, uh, Greg. Hello, Will. <laughs> hey, Rob Arnie and uh, Barry White. And that's you, Dawn. <laughs> Close and Mary. I just uh, want to call in and, uh, you know, say, Rob, you're absolutely right. It is not a job. I've been doing it for about six months. I don't know where Eric's coming from, but I wake up every morning. And watch it's a job. Now, let me ask you something. Everyone out there hates it, too, just as much as me. And I was going to say, if he did refuse your service, he's making, he won't fire him. Mm -hmm. So he's making 15 cents for your paper every day he delivers it. If you call in and complain, they take a dollar out of his paycheck for every complaint. That's good. Amazing. I'm going to find out where he works anyways and pretend I'm on his job. You know what Will's doing right there? Not representing. <laughs> no, his brothers and sisters <laughs> in the paperhood. Stop. Hello there, Kyle. Good morning. Oh. Good morning, guys. How hey. you doing? What's up, Kyle? Hey, Kyle. Not much. I'm also a paper carrier. Yay. Okay. I just wanted to say that Eric, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about mm. because when you're a carrier, you're paying, you're getting son. paid by the customer to put it on their porch. Look, mm. he clearly was upset. You know, I mean, Rob, you don't do this, but but I know Arnie and I, we get upset, or Nick, or most people, and you just say random things that later on you're like, man, why'd I say that? Yeah. Kyle, uh, well, well, never mind whatever Dawn said. Just <laughs> cut it out. That was a liberal <laughs> problem. Well, let me ask so. you this. Right now, you deliver papers every day, correct? And they cut yeah. it out. Okay, do you do it in the car? 
They hit the yeah, doing it in a van. Okay. Oh, Very oh, scary. Weird. <laughs> Where are the papers that you deliver? Where do you throw the papers? Do you throw them or do you get out and deliver the papers? I got two routes. First one I can throw them. Second one I got to get out because they're freaking mansions. Because you're putting them on porches? <laughs> Yeah, I always put it on the porch, laying it right up against oh, the door most well, of the time. That's great. It, isn't that funny how that guy right there who drives a van, mm. a gas guzzler, yeah. can do that, yet Eric can't because this is a new day and age, bro. This isn't like the old days where they're riding bikes. Kyle also not representing. Mm -mm. And Kyle, I hope he's getting tips. Mm. I hope that around Christmas you get tips. Great. I, I hope he just takes pride in what he does, and tips are nice, but it's really more putting your head oh. on the pillow at night knowing you did a good job. Oh. Hello, Daniel. Good morning. Yes. Hey, Daniel. Damn it. So, um, papers, um, I'm on hold. Yeah, them. yeah. Happy we're on the hold. That's the only reason we're continuing with this. We, yeah. this. And as I was on hold, I could hear the one, feed. Uh -huh. And someone got a Ramon we call through, but they dumped out of it. They dumped out of the Ramon? Like, Ramon, sure, get right? me yeah. some mousetraps for this <laughs> hole. <laughs> Is that what he said? And then the guy got all pissed. I don't know if it's going to make the air. I don't know how long of a delay they're on. But I heard it on hold. It was hilarious. Let it stretch for a while. And then the Rob guy got all pissed off. Like, hey, man, we could dump out of this stuff. Set. Hello there, Matt. Good morning. There, here it is. Morning. Hey, what's up, Let's Matt? Let's hear what got through. Good. Ramon, get me my mouse trap. Ramon. Huh? I don't know. Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we can delay you out and not air whatever you want to try to put on our show. Sometimes we let it go because it's so. At what do you think he wants? How what was that? What call was that? You're our phone screener. He called in to say he was uh, he was a paper delivery carrier for a long time, mm -hmm. and he and he's upset because he said getting the paper where the owners want. No, he didn't. In the uh, yes, That's he what he it. told you. He right. called in to say what he said and said was blah blah potato. What? Uh, oh. I think he, I, he was either being an idiot or he was he was mocking what he perceives oh, no. to be a demanding uh, customer. Oh. oh, put that paper on the point. He, he didn't he, say that though. Right. No, he didn't. He was doing it very badly. Maybe it was a secret code to someone else out there. That yes, was, it was. Like, you dumb it. hole. And something's gonna happen. Hour and fifteen minutes. Good, good, good. First conspiracy theory of the day. Hello there, Jeff. Hey, Rob. I think Jimmy's about to get on the show. Hey, liberal. Jimmy hey, um, I was gonna comment on Eric. He's talking about Rob being so lazy. How come he can't get out of his precious Hugo and take it up to your porch? They're on a really long delay. Yeah. I think Jimmy's ready to go on the show. Well, it's the internet feed, right? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Don't make fun of a Yugo. It's yeah. a fine yeah, vehicle yeah. and it helps people save money. <laughs> we just had to oh throw my that God. in. God. God. Yeah, people. <laughs> can be mocked. No. Okay? Really Cars not. made in Yugoslavia are one of them. Bear with the awful. Marty, 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 Don. Uh -oh. The Rob, Marty, and Don Show. Well, want to shop for your next... All right, they're in commercials. They're in commercial. Damn it. Jim's got to wait on hold. Huh? Yes. Yeah, there's a very long delay. <laughs> he might be. Are he, they still on? He could still be the last call. There's commercials there. Did the commercial just start? No, you don't know. You might be the first one out of uh, spots. Yeah, hang on there, R Ramon. All right, Steve from Yellowstone. What Whoa. should we do? Should we take a break? Mm -mm. No, you think you got it? Keep no break. No. no, no. You guys are loving it back there. Yeah, <laughs> they're all laughing. They got Dawn's uh, bio up here. She looks like the Snapple girl in this picture. <laughs> And uh, Insanity has a name, and that name is Dawn Rossi. Uh-oh. Dawn is the lone female voice on the show, but she makes up for that by never, ever turning that voice off. Isn't, isn't that obvious? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, but guys, you want to hear a really funny story? No! Though she's not famous yet, Dawn does hold numerous world records, including longest spoken run-on sentence... Longest continuous cackle without taking a breath, and most references to Jesus in a single day. <laughs> but the overriding quality of Dawn's being uh, is being her misguided belief that everybody should be nice to everyone. Her mission in life is to make sure every child in the world has a lollipop and everyone walks through life with a smile. It's Dawn's compassion and Dawn's compulsive need to save the unsavable that makes her a very annoying but essential element to our show. Otherwise, otherwise, Rob and Arnie would just tell dirty stories and make fun of bubble heads all day. <laughs> this looks like a fake bio yeah. for a fake show. Yeah, it's real, though. That's how bad this whole seems. Wait, I might have something for Jimmy. Uh, Mike in Sacramento. Mike? Oh, Mike? Wait, wait. Listeners would call in with like sad stories huh? and whatnot, and you're off. 
Oh, oh my god, god, I just fucked up the whole thing. Oh no! Are you kidding me? No! Yep, dial tone. God damn it. <clears throat> oh! Alright, uh, I gotta. Quick, you're Steve. Just don't say Yellowstone, just say Steve. God damn it. Uh, I Call piss. back. I gotta piss. Oh. Uh, why'd you gotta piss? I fucked up. Ah, oh, Mike had some advice for Jimmy before he went on live. But taking the call cut Jimmy off. Yeah. He said the whole thing is people ringing. have sad stories. It's ringing. Damn it. What happened? You, you hung up the line again. Oh, my God. We can't oh, touch the are, phones. You guys are picking up from there. That's what's confusing me. I'm sorry. I'm fucking up today. Don't touch the phones. Uh, I'm not touching the phones. Oh, my God. He was ready to go on. He was so, all ready to go. Oh, my <laughs> God. Busy. Oh, now it's busy. Oh, no. All right, Derek, take a break. We'll uh, we'll figure this out next. <laughs> all right, we have an update on the Rob, Arnie, and Dawn show. We got through again during the break, and uh, what happened, Well, Jimmy? Open originally got through as Greg... And it was genius. He said, I want to go out with Dawn. So they probably figured this would be Zoo Crew-ish. So we click off accidentally. And I actually, they called again and got through a minute later. And I said, oh, this is Greg. I was on hold. And uh, we got cut off. He goes, oh, okay. And uh, like a minute later, he comes back. He goes, Greg? He goes, oh, yeah, man, she's married. And I tried to yep. salvage it by going, yeah, but I'm a letter carrier. But he clicked. He just yeah. said she's married. So, the, so uh, they weren't going to put us on anyway, no, it, it looks would, like. I think that what happens is they probably saw it. This call screener probably liked it. And then one of the either the conservative, the drunk, or the fat hull saw it and went, "No, she's married. No, yeah, go there." Well, this is what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna call them when they least expect it, right? When we're not talking about it, because they're on to us, maybe too. Because one of uh, the Ramon calls got through and everything. Oh God, guys! So we'll move on, but we'll be keeping oh. track of Rob, Arnie, and Dawn. Oh, oh, fudge! During the break, we were talking, saying she is the perfect example of what we hate—the hole. And we thought she was doing a parody. It's a parody of what we goof on about a hole. That's how perfect of a hole she is. It's almost like having a black guy in the studio, and every time you talk, he sings, Waited in the water. Yeah. It's Jesus. Uh, <laughs> You're a caricature. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Oh, my. Even her picture, Jimmy threw this at me, and I just start cracking up. She's, she, I can't describe it. She's standing there. She's got... Her arms up like, oh, well, it's just me being me. They're bent. They're bent. It almost looks like, picture her holding, like, a, a, a tray in front of her. They're, like, up. Her, her arms are bent, and her hands are open at shoulder level, almost like, eh. <laughs> yeah. What do you want from me? Eh. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Doug out Doug has some uh, info. Doug out Doug. Nice. Fucking pussies. Why? What, what happened? So I'm talking to the fucking screener, and I was playing the old, uh, yeah, these two nothings on satellite radio, that's what that Ramon call was from. And they said, oh, yeah, yeah, I know, Opie and Anthony on XM. We, we don't want you to talk about them, though, because we don't want to give them any free advertisement. Bottom line is, we have ten times more listeners than them anyway. Oh, of course. Oh, oh, oh. Attack! <laughs> I'm fucking tired of the same fucking lines from these people. They have nothing. They have fucking nothing. Oh, Doug. Oh, Doug. Oh, Doug. oh, oh Doug. come on, Doug. <laughs> Doug, insanity has a name, and it's Don Rossi. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're going to do some phone scans now. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. No, come on. Fucking douchebag. Dawn's <laughs> photo gallery is up there, and it's Dawn with a big smile, and she's holding a camera. Uh -oh. Look out, I'll get a picture of you. Uh oh. I'm the one that gets pictures of the candid pictures of everyone at the office party. Click here to see all my photo archives, including my wedding photos. <laughs> Yuck. 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 They won't take a fucking call. We're not going to advertise. It's so fucking We cold. advertised them. Oh, my God. What is she wearing there? Wait. Uh, I think, is that her? Oh, there's a pink shirt under there. I thought her gut was hanging out. It's called a slimming outfit. <laughs> wow, he's crazy. The one guy's crazy. How could the guy in the suit stand next to the guy giving the big thumbs up? Uh, I know, with the wacky hat. Oh. All right, Doug, have fun. Bye, all right. sweetie. All right. I am now so Wait. fixated on this show. For It's all I'm thinking of. Shane from California. <laughs> hey, how you doing, boy? Hey. Hey, uh, yeah, uh... When Jimmy gets on the phone, have him do some kind of story about child molestation. Yeah. She will go on and on and on. It is it is whole worth its weight. Uh, wait a minute. Rob is married to Dawn? 
Isn't that Rob? Wait, no. no. Yeah? Who knows with these fucking shows? Wait a minute. But that looks a lot Maybe like... it was just Rob standing with the bride. Yeah, they could just uh, be friends. Uh, is it? Okay. Yeah, awesome. they, they play golf with their husband and oh. shit like that. Oh, so. my God. The husband looks like the frugal gourmet. Let's Holy see. shit, that guy's huge. Take a fucking light bulb in his mouth and he looks like Jackie Coogan. <laughs> Jackie <laughs> Coogan. Big bastard. He's Which so... one's her husband? The fat guy? Oh, well, the there's two guy. fat guys there. Oh, more to love. And there's two bald guys. More to love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, my. All right, Shane, so we'll do that. Molestation right. stories. You guys rock. Always right. funny. Gets her going. <laughs> yes. Talk about being molested. Try to cry a little. And then Ramona. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Super Bowl winner, Matt. Matt, what do you have Hi, today? Hi, son. How you doing? That was me this morning calling up with a Ramon. Oh, that Whoa. was you? Oh, yep. look at this tough guy. How do you not love this fucking kid? Yeah, yeah it was good. really funny. I, th I was listening on the phone because I was waiting to get through to the show, and... Uh, and they made it sound like they dumped out of your call, but they didn't get to it in time. Yeah, I was waiting for, for 10 minutes on the internet. It wasn't even coming. I know. It's a very, very it long delay. It, it did go through, though. And then so. I had to give a whole story to this guy. I, I just shot everything up on the spot that the, that the owners of the houses were mad at me that I didn't place the papers in a certain spot on their yeah. driveway. Yeah, the Ramon, the, the Ramon calls <laughs> are so great. <laughs> just yeah. silly. I love them. I love good them. job, Matt. All Thank right. you. All righty. Thank, Thank you. you You're a good boy. Uh, Momo. Yeah. What's up? I was going to say, you guys need to lay off these guys in California. They're just out there trying to make a living, man. We know they're that, sir. Oh, good oh. for you, Momo. Good they're for just, you. They're uh. doing a job just like you guys, just because they don't have... You know you're right. These... Yes, I know I'm right. I'm always right. Don't ever forget it. But, you know, just because they don't have all the Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, come on. You guys have... Stop and, it. And... Because they stop don't have it. a little, a little delicious treat stop like it. Jimmy, who, who and I. Come uh, on, stop! I am. Uh, he's a delicious treat. God, oh, I, I can't I take him. this. I, I gotta say, you gotta stop. If but Jimmy, you know, if Jimmy wasn't here, uh, me and Opa just ta tell dirty stories and make fun of bubble heads all day. That's right. No. Insanity God, has a here. name, and it's Jimmy Norton. Jimmy Norton. <laughs> he's a, he's a mutual meat. Curtain lover like me. All right, but Momo. Listen, All right, no, Momo. we're not going to listen. I'm not yet All famous, right, Momo. Anthony, but I oh, hold numerous on. world records. I have the longest run on sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Just All right, and, Momo. Uh, All right, guys, you guys suck. I have the longest continuous cackle without taking a breath. And the least amount of T cells. And the least amount of radio experience without saying a funny word. Hey, uh, Jim, Jersey, what's up? Oh. Hey, what's going on, old man? Hey, Jimmy. Hey, hey. <laughs> You guys got to give out the number for those of us that are out on the road. You know, nah, those of us that can't get there to do this. Yeah, what's the phone number of that show if you want to have some fun with Rob, Barney, and Dawn? <laughs> Tape it. We'd love to hear it. 888-390-9850. 888-390-9850. 9850. And then there's uh, the one that will probably get you through faster, 916-766-5000, 916-766-5000. We need to have all like definable characters. That's the thing we're missing. I'll be the whole. I accept it. Uh, oh, I wanted to be <sighs> Insanity Has a Name, and that name is Anthony. Ah. Wait, how great is Derek? We're changing the pad data like crazy these days for the people yeah. that tape the show so they can navigate the show when they listen back. Uh huh. And he, he just put the number of, of the Rob Arnie and Dawn show up on our thing. Oh, okay. So if you look at your XM, uh, you'll see their number. There That's it is, right boy. there. Hey, there you go. <laughs> you rock. <laughs> oh. You don't even need a pen anymore. Guys. Guys. Write it down, though. It's going to go away in about 10 Derek, or 15 minutes. Derek, now. Derek. All right, listen. Um, I'm a letter carrier. <laughs> a letter carrier. You blew it there, too. They were talking about paper carriers. I only said that at the very end when they were going to hang up on me. Yeah, I know. He, he went into panic, not panic mode, but yeah, he what they're going to say? Save the call carrier. mode. Letter carrier, same thing. God, this <laughs> this shit makes us so excited and hyper. I Do you know. understand? If you said to me, "Look, the next hour and a half, we're not saying anything. We're listening to that show." I'd sign on in a second. Of course. It's all I want to do right now. I wanted to hear that whole. I want to hear dirty deeds and that show. <laughs> yeah, fuck our show. All right, here we go. Drunk audio again. Um, someone suggested that we take uh, Jimmy's mom's phone call. Jimmy and, suggested it. Oh, you did? I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> someone. That somebody happens to have a name. <laughs> and it's insanity. Old, old Jimmy Norton. It's, it's lunacy. Uh, let's go to John in California. John. 
Yeah, hey guys, these clowns out here in SAC are daring you guys and the listeners to call. All they're saying is they're going to make you guys look like idiots if you guys Just call. say it. Uh, you right. can get it out, and then we'll all move on feeling better about ourselves. <laughs> I, you, I remember one of my favorite things was watching Larry King before the day of delay on TV. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he would have on the most serious thing. I mean, horrible, like Elizabeth Smart's father. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 child molestation. Somebody would call Hi, Larry. Love the show. I have a question for Mr. Smart. Do you listen to Howard Stern? <laughs> <laughs> and Larry was the worst at it because Larry would say, I don't know who that is. See, they're talking about getting goofed call. on and oh, Paul is getting through. By the way, I just want to clear something up. Not only did Dawn just see the movie Colors because she rented it, because on her way into work now, Dawn gets to see an exit uh, sign uh -huh. that's been tagged. Uh -huh. And ever since hey. then, ever since mm. then, the area that Dawn lives in. Mm. and any Hey, John, what are they saying? Oh, they're talking about how if you guys call, they're going to make the listeners look stupid and go ahead and get your curses out because they're not going to let them stupid. through. It's it's ridiculous, guys. And, and thanks right. a lot. You're going to make us listen to this goddamn show. Out here. <laughs> no, no, this is why we're great. Uh, we're already taping the show in another studio. We'll get all the good shit. We'll cut it up and we'll play it on the show later today or tomorrow. No problem. Right we do on, the hard guys, work for you. you. We'll, we do all the work for you. We the heavy the, lifting. We do the heavy lifting for you. Yeah. I, I, just right on, thanks, guys. Right. I just Bye. find it odd. Please just for a minute, leave it on. It's got to be either you were an ass and don't know it, mm. or <laughs> the guy recognizes your very inconspicuous vehicle <laughs> with the giant Texas Longhorn emblem on it and hates you on this show, okay. or because you slept with his wife. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wow, she just oh, God. cackles. She's having fun. We'll be monitoring them. The number, though, is 888-390-9850. All right, so we got uh, Jimmy's mom. <laughs> Can I just say that? We're just dicks. Oh. <laughs> I wish fibroid tumors had a name and it was Dawn Rossi. <laughs> it's about time there was a radio show for dicks, because there's plenty of them out there that just enjoy the fact that their pals are dicks to everybody. <laughs> oh, we are just unprovoked dicks. <laughs> They're just... They didn't do anything. Not, a, not an unkind word. <laughs> we just didn't like the fact that she's A, heavy, and B, pleasant. They just they just want to do their horse shit radio show every morning and not be bothered. Why are we so awful? We're just assholes. They didn't do a thing to us. They did nothing. They're just trying to eke out a living. Just trying to... The Momo was right. <laughs> the Momo uh, stinks. Yeah, Momo does stink. Attack. Mm. In one market, hanging out, trying to bring a little joy to some guy, some people's morning drive. And there we are. It yeah. just makes us feel better about ourselves. That must be <laughs> it. It's just funny. Doug is getting through? He's on hold. He's on hold? All right. Uh, we're taping the other room. Someone let me know, maybe Danny or somebody, if uh, anything interesting is going on there.